You are listening to Get Down to Business, and we are joined by the one, the only, Chris Everett of Everett College Funding. We are joined by Chris Everett, the same Chris Everett of Everett Everett Wealth Solutions. Chris Everett, thanks for joining us on Get Down to Business. As always, you've got a lot of great advice, and we're thrilled to have you on the line with us. Hello, shalom. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. You can hear uh, that I've had my coffee this evening. I'm excited to speak with you. Chris, how can why, how can people sort of start making that that decision about where to send their uh, their their young child off to school? Perhaps even start planning that uh, many years before uh, sending their 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 son or daughter off to college. Right. Well, at Everett College Funding, what we do is we make sure that you're you're the right category. You understand what category you fit in. So there's three. The first one is you really have low income, you have low assets, you're going to probably qualify for need-based financial aid wherever you go. The second category, you you work hard, you save well, you're middle income, and you in particular can suffer by not really understanding the best way to save money. Because you're good savers, but if you save in places where all your money is exposed to the formulas, you're probably not going to qualify, even though you've worked very hard and saved very well. The third category has high income, high assets, and for those folks, we just need to make sure that you're saving the right spots, but you're also making smart decisions about where to send your son or daughter. Not that everyone shouldn't send their son or daughter to smart places. Please don't understand that. But the biggest mistakes I find is people not understanding the category they're in and knowing that there's different strategies for each category. That's the biggest issue. Chris, what would you say to the, uh, to the professional that's out there and, said, and says, well, I went to Harvard, I went to Yale, I want all of my kids. I, I believe it's a family tradition. Everybody uh, should sort of fit into that mold and go to Harvard or Yale. What's your response to those people? Well, I would humbly respect your decision. However, you know, maybe it's not the best fit. When your son or daughter finishes their sophomore year in high school, we take them in and help them understand their hardwiring. If we can figure that out and help them understand it, not if, but when we do, then the correct career path is clearly delineated for them. Once they know the direction that they could go in as far as a career that's a best fit, then we can back up and look at the right major selections for them and then see which colleges really have those majors in the correct set of circumstances for your child. Honestly, Harvard, Yale, University of Illinois, it doesn't really matter if it's not a good fit. Absolutely. And how early is too early to sort of start that discussion? Oh, Lord. You mean the discussion about which college to select? Well, which college to select and how to start paying for it. Okay. The college question shouldn't happen until sophomore year in high school. If you engage with a qualified financial planner, with someone that really understands this college game, then you should be talking to them no later than your sophomore year. I know many of the people out there are saying, wait till junior year. I really think that's too late. And the reason for me it's too late is by the time your son or daughter goes into junior year, they're already getting inundated with college information that may not even be a good fit for them. It's a waste of time. Not only that, you're probably jumping on planes and <laughs> jumping in cars and spending money that you really don't even need to spend and going places you really don't even need to go. Chris, we actually have a question for you from uh, Melissa. Melissa, who just called in from Chicago. Melissa, thanks for calling in to Get Down to Business. What's your question for Chris Everett? Oh, thank you. Uh, Melissa, How can uh, what, what questions do you have about college planning for, uh, for Chris Everett of Everett College Funding? Okay, so um, my family is a very young family. I mean, I'm far from the college um, age right now, but my family would really like to start planning, and I know that... Um, it's important to sort of help our children decide a career path early on. What is the best way to try to, like, gauge what direction our children would want, would want to go in before they're, like, seniors in high school and ready to start college and, you know, potentially going to waste a lot of money with years of not knowing what they're going to do in college and then need to – and then – 
like so much money goes down the drain. Chris, how can people pick their uh, their college or figure out the college path or the career path? Right. Well, listen, here's the thing. When you have small children, the most important thing, and, and what grade are they in? I have, my oldest is in fourth grade. Okay. At that age, the most important thing that you and your spouse can do is get your financial planning ducks in a row first. If that's correctly done, and depending upon whether you're a family uh, category one, two, or three, how you save and where you save will have a big impact down the road. And I promise you, fourth grade is going to seem like a distant memory in a minute before (laughs) you know what your children will be a sophomore and junior in high school. Time flies when you're having fun, that's for sure. Uh, When when making those decisions... uh... For, for your family, the, 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 your, your life seems to sort of fly by you. And I know that there's many other families like Melissa's out there. Uh, Chris, how can people, uh, how can Melissa contact you for more information? How can uh, other young, uh, young family members sort of contact you cont- to continue that financial planning discussion and college funding discussion as well? All right. So, Melissa, or anyone listening, if you would go to EverettCollegeFunding.com, that's our college site so that you begin to understand the full scope of what we can do. But quite frankly, before you even go too much further down the college road, you have to get the financial planning piece together. So that website does connect to Everett Wealth Solutions, and you can go back and forth. But that's what I highly recommend, seeing what the stability of your uh, financial resources are, see what category, and figure out what your EFC is. We would love to have a conversation with folks about, here's what your expected family contribution is for college. And when you figure Once that again, out, you can contact Chris Everett at EverettCollegeFunding.com. That website, EverettCollegeFunding.com. Melissa, listeners, jo- check out Chris Everett at EverettCollegeFunding.com.